Born Inside with Friends. This is Mitty Man. Yeah, coming at you from Walker's Music. You know, another word for the day. We want to give a, a big shout out to the YouTube fam from Baby Justice, all the way up to Big Papa JT, as well as Mama JT. You know what the rule is. We love you. We want to give God glory this morning. We give him thanks for life, health, and strength, as well as it is. People, you know, he didn't have to do it this morning. He didn't have to wake us, but he did. He didn't have to start us on our way. He didn't have to see to it that we had a little food on the table. But he did. And uh, for that, we give him thanks. We give him thanks. Because he is the one. We up on another Sunday morning, people. Time to go out to the house of prayer once more time. And again, give our homage and our glory to God, who is the head of our lives. And we all should be trying to do the best we can to do all that he asks. We don't cross every T, people. Neither do we dot every I. But we should be striving each day to live the best that we can, letting the Holy Spirit be our guide. And that's all you can do. Nothing else. Nothing else you can do. You know, when Jesus was here and walked with the earth with his disciples and he often would tell them you know to come aside and come apart and, and they, they, they would do certain things they he would tell them that they need to rest a little while you see people the reason why Jesus told us to rest is because see when when when, when fatigue come in fate go out your patience is short you are very short with people and therefore we need to rest and sometimes you'll say stuff to people that you really don't mean you say it because of the fact that we're tired and therefore we should rest our bodies like I said we had I had rehearsal yesterday in the studio with the, the children I enjoyed it very well and I was glad that the children finally, you know, got a chance to come to the studio and uh, see some of the thing, how actually stuff goes on about the recording process. And, but mainly we were just getting ready for the church service today and they had a ball. And I tell you people, God looks at to the us grown people to make certain that children do what is right. We are supposed to train them what is right. We're supposed to rear them up in the right way. Now, it's not our fault if they go up and go astray a little bit. But we're supposed to be done doing our part as training them up as children. Children are not supposed to be left to raise themselves. When I was growing up, it took a whole community. It took a village, they say, to raise kids. Everybody, in the, every grown person in the, in, the, in the neighborhood was our parent. We, uh, we, we had to obey. We knew to obey. If you didn't, you're gonna get a killing. I know right now that's a that's a that's a taboo word to say. You're gonna get a killing. Uh, the, the government and certain law officials have have uh, turned things upside down because see the Bible says you spoil spare the rod, you spoil the child, and that's exactly what had happened with all this new age stuff. And now you don't supposed to punish a kid. You don't supposed well. I don't know. I I know about that law. But I'd rather obey God than man. I want to read scripture here this morning. I want to come from the book of Matthew. And it's about when Jesus was talking and he was telling them, his disciples, about what he was about to do. Well, let's go from the Matthew 16th chapter, the 21st verse. It said, from that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go into Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and the chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. But he turned aside, he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan, thou art an offense unto me. For thou sayest not the thing that will be of God, but those that be of men. Then Jesus said unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, 
let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is it for, for what is it for man profit if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angel, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. May God have a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. We know, people, when Jesus made this statement about some standing here will not see death until they see the glory of his of his king, her kingdom. But well, we know immediately after that, in that 17th verse, 17th chapter, he took Peter, James, and John to the mountain and showed his glory to them. You see, Peter rebuked Jesus. So, no, 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 no. It should not be. Jesus was telling him what he must do on Calvary. Peter rebuked him. So, no, 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 this should not be. He didn't know what he was talking about. You, we all know Peter, he, he had a lot of, he, he meant well, but he was saying stuff out of his own strength, and he he hadn't not yet been converted yet. We know this, because uh, we know what he did. The very one he said that it shall not happen to him, he denied knowing Christ three times on the night of his uh, trial and everything. But he meant well. Peter meant well. He loved it all. But like I said, as well as we do, people, we say a lot of things. We make very, very swell words. We speak a lot of things. Sometimes we mean, we think we really mean what we are saying. We, but you see, we are in the flesh, people. And we, the things that we speak of, we are not able to do. Matter of fact, we are not able to do anything. Remember, Jesus said, without me, ye can do nothing. You see, Calvary was always Jesus' destination. I can't help how we look at it. Calvary was always Jesus' destination. For this cause that he came into the world was to what? Die for the sin of man, that man might be redeemed back to God. That was his whole purpose for coming. Now, if you're going to stop his whole purpose like Peter would, well, then you were getting against the will of God. And it's a lot of time we do that, people. Sometimes I'm annoying, but we really do. We get, we get ahead of God. We sometimes we try to move too fast, present company included. We try to move too fast, we try to get ahead of God, and that is not the will of God. So, what we need to do, and many man, like I said, we're gonna go out here for worship service today. We need to follow this prompting of the Holy Spirit. Let's not get ahead of God, people, and everything will work out. I found this out here a couple of four Sundays ago, I think I told you about it, when I said, Many man was just gonna shut his big mouth. And I did that, and, and everything went well. See, people, God knows what to do if we let him do it. But he wants us to commit our way to him. That's the only thing many man knows to tell people. I tell you nothing but what I read in the scripture. And if it's something that I say on my own self, I make certain that I let you know that. You want to make another announcement that we did start the Bible study, the online Bible study? And uh, we we started it last on this past Thursday, and uh, I've heard and I was told that it went over well with a couple of people that was there. And uh, like I said, we we gonna only tell the truth, people. We only speak what we know, as what Peter and John and them said. We speak what we have seen and heard. Well, middle man only gonna speak what that Bible say. If that if it doesn't speak it in the Bible, middle man is not gonna say it. And if middle man got his own opinions, he's gonna let everybody know. Well, this just the opinion of many man. So won't nobody be led astray. Because we must be careful how we teach. We must be careful. Because what we teach people, not lead people in the wrong direction. Leading people astray is a dangerous thing to mislead people. God going to hold you accountable. He account he hold those accountable that know better. Much more so than that one that don't know. In other words, he that know to do right and do good and don't do it will be what would many strike. He that don't know it will be with what, what? Few strikes. So let us remind ourselves, people, let us be forever careful to give God the glory. Keep God first. This is the will of God for our lives. This is Mitty Man saying, I hope you have a great worship Sunday and worship experience. And I hope you, everything go well for you in this year 
God's day. May God add a blessing to you. This is Man saying peace and goodbye.